what it's called, hell is high Prosper in the law, call it jackpot Never saw your soul, this is food for thought Martyr for the Lord, he be drugging right. You ever seen us out here before? Where y'all from? Born and raised. Born and raised. Would you? Are you a you're so called white woman, right? I'm a white woman, right? Let me ask y'all a question. Do you still think black men are treated fairly here in America? No. Right? Do you believe in karma? I do. Absolutely. What do you think is gonna happen for the things that have been done the to so called black men? What do y'all think is gonna happen? Everybody believes in karma until we start talking about the elephant in the room, right? About how we're gonna break you talking about what, what, what's gonna happen to what, the black men in the game? You know, what happens for the things that have been done to the black men in America? Okay. When you talk about like Walter Scott, bro, I don't know if y'all know who that is, Trayvon Martin, Tamir okay. Rice, right? Eric Garner. When you start talking about the people that didn't make the news, so what happens, especially to this country, for slavery, for raping, for robbery? For so what murder? do you think our solution is? What is the solution? What is the solution? Right. Out here today to make well, what you got for me? What you got Give me Ezekiel 35 and 5. Right. Let me see. Let me hear you. Because it's written in the Bible, but a lot of people don't understand. Right? 35 14. Matter of fact, let me open my book real quick. This is like, right. it seems right. a lot to stand out here. Y'all come in the Word. Right? I want to show y'all. Y'all come in the Word. Come the Word, brother. Yeah, hear this real quick. Let me show you. Right here, right here. I want to show you something. Oh, this is a book. This book costs $360 right here, right? This is not an easy book you can get. But I'm going to show y'all what's inside, right? Because it's very important that we, we remember. Give me John 14 and 26. Where y'all right? from? Because this is important stuff. Can I ask a question? When you talk about, you talk about things like this. Hold on, hold on. I got you. But I want to know where y'all from. I'm going to answer your question, right? How do you feel about this, brother? How do y'all feel about that? Right? He has to pull to the Bible to answer That's terrible. That question. Now watch this. John 14, 26. 14, 26. Right? It's the book of John, chapter 14 and verse 26. 22. Right? Verse 26. Uh -huh. But the comforter, which is the Holy Ghost, right. whom the Father will send uh -huh. in my name, uh -huh. he shall teach you all things. He shall teach you all things. Read on. And bring all things to your remembrance. And bring what? And, and bring, bring all things, things to your remembrance. So what we are doing, we are the servants of the Heavenly Father. We are here to bring remembrance of those things that are written in the Bible. Right, so watch watch what it says right here. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 21, Give me verse 22. Five and verse 12. Uh, and if a man have committed a sin now, worthy of the, death. The reason why these things happen to the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans is because it was sin that was committed against our Heavenly Father. There was a covenant that was established with our forefathers in between God himself. And God said, if you sin, the wages of sin is death. Right? So watch what it says right here. I almost puked, but let me stay focused. If a man have committed a sin worthy of death, and he be put to death, and thou hang him on a tree. So because of sin, we were hung on a tree, right? Read on. His body shall not remain all night upon the tree, right? But thou shalt in any wise bury him that day. Right, so they were supposed to bury us, but what they would do on the slave plantations, they would leave us there for days, right? So people can see. So people can look at that and say, well, he went against Massa, I better not go against my right, I have right, a question. Right, right, right. I have a, um, I have a friend of mine yeah. that played international basketball, right? Yeah. And he went to Africa and yeah. he talked with like some of his teammates' parents right. who are 95 years old right. and they kind of educated him on the African American like heritage. Mm -hmm. And that the African American, the parents were selling the children. The, the parents were selling the children? Yeah, the this? parents were selling the family members. Where, where was this? In Africa. In slavery? In Africa. Or in right. Africa. During the slavery. They were selling their family to get more food. Well, they I'll were tell you, I'll tell child. you. Here's like, the thing. Here's the thing. The so-called blacks here in America, we're not called, we're not considered Africans. Africans and black people here are two different people. That's why they were check, selling them. What do you check when you check a box? Obviously, we have to check black or African American. American. But there's no such thing. You cannot be from two continents at the same time. Right. Right. So when you go down into history, when you go into the Bible, when you go into the progenitor of Ham, right? This now it starts going deep. There's three sons of Noah, right? You have Shem, Ham, and Japheth, right? You have Ham, which is the progenitor of the dark races, and it literally says, "Except for the Negro." Right. He's the progenitor of the dark races, except for the Negro. Ham, yes, Ham, Ham. I I'll bring it out. Ham is the progenitor of the dark races. All the Africans, Africans come from somewhere else. That's why they took our people and sold them. 
we're not the same people. We might have the same skin complexion. It's just like Egyptians, right? A lot of black people say, well, I'm from what Egypt. Make, what right? makes you want to stand Kush. out here tonight? What makes me want to stand out here tonight? Correct. Give me um, Isaiah, Isaiah 49, 49 and 5, five yeah. right? Give me Lamentations 5 Answer and 12 while we get involved. How many nights are you? I got you. Not from the Bible. Answer me truthfully. How many nights are you? Let me read this. Hold on. Let me read this first, and I'm going to answer your question. That's a good question. You want me to start 49 and 5? Start at 10 or skin is 5? No, 5 and 12. Because I want to prove something right here. This is the book of Lamentations. Yeah. Chapter 5 and verse 12. Now watch this. See this picture, right? What is this man hung up by? What is he hung Can up by? I see that whole book. Right? That's a whole Bible. What Bible are you using? Like? King James. His hands, King right? James. Now watch what the Bible says, right? right? This is the book of Lamentations. Chapter 5, verse 12. Uh -huh. Princes are hanged up by, by their hands. Say that again. Princes, Princes are hanged up by their hands. We, were we are the princes in the earth. But because we went against God, he said, you shall be hung up by your hands. Are we not hung so up by God our hands? So God said that. God said this. Go, so Joe, God, go to verse the one. Only way to God verse God one. Worship, go, right? go to verse one. Go to verse one. Got it. the only way to God is Jesus Christ? Absolutely. Not the white Jesus either. That's not, not the white Jesus. Jesus. I mean, I'm not saying no white or black. The, I'm just saying Jesus Christ. We teach general. the real Christ. Right. right. We read what you got. Five it's the book of Lamentations, chapter five, verse one. Uh -huh. Remember, O oh Lord, uh -huh. what has come upon us. You read it. Consider. And behold, our reproach, uh -huh. our inheritance is turned to strangers. Our inheritance has been turned to strangers. Everything that we, are, we're, we were supposed to inherit, it has been given to other people. When you talk about why the reason, hold on, hold on, why let me finish. Let me finish. But I want to understand let me why finish. You think that is, the reason, the reason why other people they own the lakes, the resources, the land, right? It literally says in the Bible that our inheritance, which should be the earth. Has been given into the hands of our enemy, the stranger. Right, read on. Come on. Our inheritance is turned to strangers. Right. Our houses to aliens. Uh huh. We are orphans and fatherless. Say that again. We are orphans and fatherless. You, know, you talk about Why the so-called blacks and Hispanics. We are the number one people that don't grow up with fathers in our right. household. Why? Right? Read on. Why? Our mothers are as widows. Our mothers are what? Our yeah. mothers as our widows. A lot of us have. We have a, a pandemic going on with our Fair baby enough. mothers. Right? There's the a baby mother. It's like they funny. have. They have children. They have children, but it's like it's no father around. It says they are like widows. That's what the scriptures have said. Read on. That's we have drunken our water for money. Keep reading. We have drunken our water for money. It says we have drunken our water for money. Why? Because this earth belongs to the so-called black Hispanics and Native Americans. Would you agree with that, sister? Yep. Right, read on. Yeah. Our wood is sold unto us. Brother, let me ask you a question. Come back, brother. Let me ask you a question. Keep reading. Our wood is sold unto us. Keep reading. Our necks are under persecution. Say that again. Our necks is under, under persecution. Say that one more time. Our necks. It's under, under persecution. persecution. Our necks are under persecution. Right? Would you agree with that? Listen to what the Bible says about this picture, brother. Listen to this. Watch this. Read it again. This is the book of Lamentations, chapter 5, and verse 5. I'll read. Our necks are under persecution. Y'all got, got a flyer for the brother? Can y'all take a flyer? You got a flyer? You got a flyer on you? Take a flyer real quick, brother. Right? I got it. I got it. I got it. It's in my bag. Right? Scriptures say our neck is under persecution. Right? The, uh, the, no, uh, a picture says a thousand words, man. Right? These, listen, the, where they get these pictures from, they used to have postcards, right? And people would hang, up, hang them up in their house of black men hanging just like this from the tree. Right? There's enough, there's one in here. I'm not going to look for it right now, but there's one in here. They actually took a, a mother and her son, they hung them from a bridge, and they got the hair in the picture frame right along with the, that picture. It just goes to show you how brutal this country has been to the so-called black Hispanics and Native Americans. And not one time have they apologized. But what I'm trying to bring out here tonight is that everybody believes in karma until you start talking about these things. America is going to have to pay for this, right? Give me Numbers chapter um, uh, 33, verse 20, 25. 35, 35, 33, fine. Let me get that, right? This country is gonna have to pay. One more scripture before y'all go, right? For these things. Get another. This is the book of Numbers. Yep. The book of Numbers, chapter 35, verse 33. Right. So ye shall not pollute the land wherein ye are. Right, right. For blood it defileth the land. For blood has defiled America. Right, read on. And the land cannot be cleansed 
of the blood that is shed there. America cannot be cleansed of the blood that has been shed by the Israelites, which is us. Read on. But by the blood of him that shed it. But by the blood of them that have shed our blood. Read on. Is more on that? Right? So, so what, what the Bible is saying is that they have to pay for what they have done to us. Right? But so the, the common question is, well, all of those people that put you guys in slavery, they're gone. Right, right, right. I didn't do slavery. I didn't do these things to you. But let's see what the Bible says. Isaiah 14, 28. What does the Bible say? Whoever got that first? Okay. Right? Read what you got. Book of Isaiah, chapter 14, verse Isaiah 21. 16 and 15. Prepare slaughter. Prepare, Prepare slaughter. slaughter. Right. He loves everybody, but that's not true when you actually sit down and read the Bible. Read on. Prepare slaughter uh -huh. for his children, right? for the iniquity of their fathers. So those people, right, that are the sons of slave masters, they have to pay for them. Just like we still take on the effects post-slavery, they have to take on the, the punishment post-slavery. It's just that simple. Absolutely. Right? Absolutely. Watch what the Bible says, Isaiah 16 and 15. This is, the this, book is of Isaiah. Gonna, this is gonna be the ultimate demise of the so-called whites. Look at us in slavery. And not only you guys, we're talking about Chinese people, right? Right, because they come in our neighborhoods and oppress us. We're talking about the so-called Arabs. They come in and oppress our people. We're talking about all of these people that come in and have a hand in our captivity. Read what you got. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 60, verse 15. Now watch what the Bible says, not what I'm saying. Read on. Whereas thou? has been forsaken and hated, uh -huh. so that no man went through thee. I will make thee an eternal an eternal excellency. Give me 14. That's Verse 14. Yeah. The sons also of them that afflicted thee right. shall come bending unto thee. One day it's gonna, it's gonna happen where the truth is it's gonna be revealed in the earth, and these people are gonna realize this was the sons of the living God that we give these to. This was not just a nigga. He was not just a thug. He wasn't just a black man. This was the sons of the living power that we, we trottled down on. That's right. And they're gonna have to pay for these things. It's just that simple. Right? Yeah, bring it out. It's the book of Job, chapter 21, uh -huh. verse 19. All right. God layeth up his iniquity for his children. Right? Say it again. God layeth up his iniquity for his children. So those children are gonna have to pay because those slave masters, they got away scot-free. Right, right. They live, man, right? They made us work for hundreds and hundreds of years and they benefited from it, right? And they still benefited from benefit from slavery up until this day. But there's gonna be a time when God cracks that sky open that they gotta pay for these crimes. God said that America cannot be, cannot be cleansed by that blood, but by the person that shed it. The sons take on their father's blood. Right? Read what you got. This book of Colossians chapter 3 verse 25. Uh -huh. But he that doeth wrong right. shall receive for the wrong which he has done. Yeah, people don't want to talk about those things, right? When we go to church, they, they leave these things out. They don't want to talk about judgment and execution and things like that. Because God, all from Genesis to Revelation, you know how many people God has killed? God, is, God kills a lot of people. Right. Give me 1 Samuel chapter 2. Bring it out. This book of Galatians, chapter 6, verse 7. Yep. Be not deceived. God is not mocked. Uh -huh. For whatsoever a man soweth, right. that shall he also reap. Whatever a man sow, that shall he also reap. I'm looking for the one with the, the child. Um, it's things like this. If this don't make you upset, if this don't make you mad, what will, man? Right? What will make you upset? Right? A picture is worth a thousand words. That's right. Right? A picture is worth a thousand words. This is what America has done to you. But we go around celebrating their holidays that they have given us. Right? We take their last names gracefully. We say, well, I'm an American. You rep, you rep the American flag. That American flag represents this, man. Right? The American flag, July 4th, they represent this. When they were celebrating July 4th, we, this is what they were doing to us. Right? When we celebrate Christmas, when Christmas was invented, this is what they were doing to us. The Most High said we shall not celebrate pagan holidays. That's a sin, right? But the church don't want to talk about these things. They don't want to call out the elephant in the room. We're here to speak the truth. Give me Isaiah, what you holding? Uh, uh, first Samuel. Two and two, three, two and or three, is it seven? Three, two, uh, I think it's seven. Actually, the Lord, the Lord, the Lord, the Lord. Yeah, two and six. Two and six, two and bring six, that out. Yep. 
Okay. Right. This is the book of 1 Samuel chapter 2 and verse 6. Uh -huh. The Lord killeth. Say it again. The, the Lord, Lord killeth. God kills, right? Read off. And, and maketh, maketh the alive. Lord. And he maketh the alive. And he gives power for babies to come out of the womb. Read on. He bringeth down he, to the ground. Who's the one that brings down to the grave? Not, not right. Satan or the devil. Now, when we talk about Satan or the devil, the devil has to get permission from God. That's right. Everything he does, he God created the devil. Think about it. He works for him, right? So it makes sense when you talk about Job. Job, who was a perfect man, he had to go to God to get permission to put hands on him, right? So what we're talking about right now, brothers, I don't know if y'all can see that from there. Do y'all think this is fair, what they did to us? So what's going to happen for these things that they have done? Give me, I, give me Ezekiel 35 and 5. Bring it give me out. Ezekiel 25 and 14. Right? Right? What, what's going to happen for these things? It's, it's many times they did these things to us, man. Right? Right? Look at this. They burned these men after they hung them. Right? But nobody want to talk about this stuff. These, these are people that actually lost their lives. They had children, man. They had families. And they took them and they did these things to them. Right? Like we were cattle, like we didn't we didn't exist, we don't we don't have any importance. Right, whoever got that first, read what you got. Ezekiel 25, 14. Yep. I got Ezekiel 35. Come on, huh, whoever got it first, read. This is the book of Ezekiel, chapter 25, verse 14. Watch what the Bible says. Read. And I will lay my vengeance upon Edom. Edom is the so-called white man, right? Read on. By the hand of my people, Israel. By the hand of my people, Israel. We are Israel. Right? Because when we talk about who we are, the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, we don't even know who we are. Right? If I ask you where you're from, a lot of people are going to say I'm African American right, right. or I'm Puerto Rican. But how did your people get to that land? How did you become an African American? How did you become a Puerto Rican? Right? Your people were brought to these lands into captivity. That's not where your history started. Your history started somewhere before you stepped foot off those slave ships. Right? Read on. And they shall do in Edom according to mine anger. God said he's going to let Israel do uh, into this nation what he wants him to do. Read a 35 and 5. It's the book of Ezekiel chapter 35 verse 5. This, right? Because thou hast had a perpetual hatred. Now God is telling him, he said because y'all had a perpetual hatred. Do y'all know what that means? A perpetual hatred means it's a hatred that never stops. It's a hatred that goes on up until this day. There's a young girl named Ayanna Jones. Look it up when y'all got a chance. Police officers went into this eight-year-old child's home. It was her, her and her grandmother. Went into the home while this child was sleeping and shot this little girl in the head. Nobody paid for that, right? Nobody paid for that. So when we talk about them hating us, right? They treat us like we dogs. Michael Vick, right? Michael Vick was killing dogs. How many years in jail did he serve? Four or five years? The, the man that killed Trayvon Martin, how many, how many days in jail did he serve? None. So what does that show you? That dead black dogs, have more value in this life than black men, right? That's what this country shows you, right? Read on. Because thou hast had a perpetual hatred, right? And hast shed the blood of the children of Israel, right? By the force of the sword. By the what? By the force of the sword. By the force of the sword. They continue to kill us all the day long. They kill us up until this day. Read on. And the time of the calamity, and the time that your iniquity had to end, right? Read. Therefore, as I live. The most high power, right? I will prepare thee unto blood. He said he's going to prepare them unto blood. So, with this being known, right, this seems sad. It's like, man, that's depressing, man. Why are we in this condition? God said there's things that we must do to get up out of this captivity, right? And there's things that he's going to do at the end of time, right? And he's going to allow us to get up out of here. Give me um, Ezekiel 36, 24. Give me Ezekiel 20 and 30. Right? Right? And if y'all got questions, please feel free to ask. We out here for y'all. Right? We out here for y'all. Right? Read what you got. It's the book of Ezekiel, chapter 36, verse 24. Uh -huh. For I will take you from among the heathen. Say it again. For, for I, I will for for I, I will take you from among the heathen. He said, I will take you from among these nation of people, right? Read on. And gather you out of all the countries. And he's gonna gather us out of these countries where he scattered us in slavery. The reason he scattered, scattered us in slavery is because we broke the commandments of God. We broke that covenant that we had with him. Read on. And will bring you into your own land. And he will bring us into our own land, which is Israel. Right? This is the picture I was talking about. Right? Now, this is a bunch of white men on the top of this bridge. You hear the word, right? brothers? Come this is a word. bunch of white men on the it's top us. of this bridge. And they hung, All right. they hung this young woman and her son. 
And if you look in the picture, you got people in the background smiling. All right, let's get the close up. Let's go to the next page. All right. All right. Keep reading on what you got out. Boom. Then will I sprinkle clean water upon you, uh -huh. and ye shall be clean. And we shall be clean because we're polluted right now. With the type, with, even with the mindset get up, get up, that we have, up. right? Even with the mindset that we have right now, our mindset is polluted, right? Read what you got. Time. The book of Ezekiel, chapter 20, verse 32. And I'm going to show you how our mindset is polluted, right? And that which cometh into your mind uh -huh. shall not be at all, right? That ye say, we will be as the heathen, right? As the families of the countries, right? To serve wood and stone, right? Mm -hmm. As I live, saith the Most High. You know what? We won't be, we won't have to serve in these religions. Christianity is a religion that is false. Christianity is fake, man. I'm telling you right now. Right. There's, and I'll tell, hold on, hold on, sis. Hold on, hold on. I know, let me let me explain my reasoning though, since you gotta give me a chance. You gotta give hold on, you gotta give me a chance. What I'm saying is, what I'm saying is the Sunday church does not preach what is in the Bible. I'm not saying Christ is fake. we we are the true Christians. Right. I believe in Christ. We believe in Christ. But what we're saying is the things that Christianity pushes is not good. Why do you everybody that comes out of Christianity, right? You got baby mamas there. Bro, I'll give you a good example. We used to do prison ministry, right? All of these people that don't rape, rob, and murder people, I ask them their religion. You know what they tell me before they went in? I was a Christian. Right. If you were a Christian, you wouldn't be doing the things the Bible told you not to do. Right. And that's why I'm saying it's not true. You say what? Everybody sins, but there's a difference between living in sin and falling short. Yeah, I agree with that. There's a difference though, right? So even when we talk about stuff like this, right? Even when we talk about this, Right? Let's talk about the children real quick and what they do to our children. I know I got two minutes, so I got you. Go ahead, go ahead. Right? How do y'all feel about this? Right? How do y'all feel about this? What does it say? My my two dads in me. Right. This is a children's book. Right? What about this? The gay BCs. Bring it up. This is a children's book. This is what I'm talking about. When I say Christianity is false. The things that this country pushes is false. These are things we should not be learning about. That's right. You should not be teaching your children these things because what? God said love everybody. God does not love everybody in the scripture. That's right. Right? Do y'all believe that or do I need to prove it? Do you believe God loves everybody? Be honest. I mean, we were taught certain things. You believe that, right? Give me Sirach chapter 12. Bring it out. Come on, you know what I want. Sirach chapter 12. Oh, you want Sirach chapter 12? What you got? Romans 9 and 13. Come on, Come on. What you got? Right? No, and I'm gonna sh don't listen to me. Huh? I tell people go to the Bible. Scriptures say seek out of the book of the Lord and read. I'm just a servant of the Lord. I'm Girl. just a messenger, right? So watch what the Bible says. This is the book of Sirach, chapter twelve, verse six. Uh huh. For the Most High hated sinners. Say that again. For the Most High hated sinners. I thought He loved everybody. God say He hates sinners. Watch what it say here. Let's go to the Romans. This is the book of Romans, chapter 9 and verse 13. Uh -huh. As it is written, right? Jacob have I loved. Jacob have I loved, which is the so-called Israelites. Read on. But Esau. But who? But Esau. Esau. So-called white man. Read but on. But Esau. Read on. Have I hated. Say it again. Have I, I hated. I thought God loved everybody. Give me Malachi 1 and 3. This is the book of Malachi, chapter 1, verse 3. 139, verse 24. So. And I hated Esau. Say it again. And I hated Esau. What did God say? And I hated Esau. I thought, I thought God... I thought God loves everybody, right? You don't believe that, brother? Right? Does it seem like I'm preaching hate? Right? While I'm preaching what's out the Bible. Everything you ask me, everything I say, I'm gonna go to the scriptures and prove it, right? And it, look, it looks a little foreign because a lot of things, what we're teaching right now, the church don't teach. This is why you can go to church and they only pull three, sep three precepts in five hours, right? A lot of people, how long you been going to church? You go to church, right? Yeah, yeah. How long you been going to church? So if I ask you to name five of the commandments right now, could you do that? Name some. What's the Sabbath day? Uh, Sunday is right. No, Friday, Saturday, Friday, Sunday, the Saturday, Sunday. But go ahead, I'll give you three, three more. Okay. Leviticus 11 and 7. Right, so, but you've been going to church since you've been a young boy. You got to know more than that, brother. You a young, how old are you, brother? 19. You a, you, a, you a man. Damn. You got to be a king in the earth. <laughs> this, these things, we have to 
to know in the scriptures. This is the blueprint to life. This is how we keep ourselves out of trouble, right? This is how we stay away from false doctrines and false religions. This is how Christianity could dupe you because we're not reading the Bible. You got to sit down and actually read Isaiah 34, 16. Read what you got. All right, brother. Take care, man. This is the book of Leviticus chapter 11 and, and verse 7. Tell the sister we believe in Christ. We just don't believe in the Christ she believes in. It's a different Christ, man. On tree. Let's get it poppin', it's the prophet Zamar, L-O-Z soldier, and your Howard told me, wake up my people, it's almost over. In the synagogue of Satan been faking, we gon' expose him, so is iron rusted, so is his wickedness, they corroded. And John 3.16, the only verse these Christians quoting, I'm looking at him like, what the hell y'all been smoking?